I mean, the lights are on as well, so it's not empty. Oh. Ah. Well, maybe it is. Maybe they're not very eco-conscious werewolves. Well, can we have a sneak around and see what's going on in there? Mm -hmm. uh, I think you need a stealth check if you're be, doing that. Be, be careful, though, um, Ygraine. Don't, don't put yourself at risk, yeah? Yeah, I'll be careful. <laughs> so, yeah, I will use the breaking and entering talent to make this slightly easier for myself. Yep, so stealth plus two bonus, it's difficulty uh, 10 again. Yeah, I'm going to have a peek in through the windows and have a good listen. Yep, so, I mean, in terms of that, you can see there's, there's, there's two people there, a man and a woman. I'll shop at it. They're wearing very loose clothes. <laughs> Jogger uh, bottoms type territory here. Uh, the kind of clothes that you can get out of in a hurry should you suddenly feel the need to be a wolf. Or they're very yeah, stretchy. Or well, they're very stretchy, so, you know, when you turn into a wolf, they stretch with you. Yeah, I mean, that would be the new light in werewolf fashion, wouldn't it? <laughs> wolf lounges. <laughs> I got a twelve, so I think I'm being fairly inconspicuous. Yeah, I mean, with that, do you want to get into the house? Looks like they're just in the front room watching the telly. Yeah, well, if I can get him round the back where they can't see me. Yeah. Then, yeah, I'll do that. Yep. So, I mean, you need a little bit of lock picking, but you've got your break in entering thing. You can do that easy enough. Give me the back door. Yeah. And you are in. So, I'll send you, so, so you've got a kitchen. You've got the living room. There's some stairs going up. A... I mean, it looks like they, it looks like. I mean, it's, it looks like they're watching. Yeah, watching some sort of comedy thing on Netflix. That's a plenty of laugh track to hide my movements as I. Absolutely. My house, I'll check if there's any kind of stairs down to a basement. There's no basement, no. Right, yeah. In which case, uh, if I don't see anyone being held prisoner on the ground floor, I'll head upstairs. Okay, so heading upstairs. This is a big, actually it's a big cottage. There's five bedrooms. I mean, the bedrooms aren't very big. Sure. Make my way round the top floor one at a time. I'm expecting to find three people here. Yeah. So the first door you open. Actually, that's actually is a teenage girl there. She is not tied up or anything. Right, well, I'll put my finger to my lips to indicate that she should keep quiet. Okay, she's happy to do that. Once I've established no surprise screaming will happen, I will whisper, what's your name? I'm, I'm Liana. I'll nod as I remember that name and beckon to her to follow me. Yeah, they took me in. I'm not sure what's going to happen. Maybe I will join them. What do you reckon? I think you should uh, come with me and we'll talk about this away from them. Okay. Next room, there is someone who's actually bound and gagged. Uh, does it look like it might be one of the people we're looking for? And he described yes. one of them as a psycho. So this is the psycho, one. you guess. Yeah, I, I might leave that one for the moment. Yeah, it's going. Oh, no, yeah, oh, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm just, I just I'll tear those bastards' heads off. Let me out, I'll tear your head off too. Yeah, I'm going to leave that. I'm, I'm not doing that without backup. <laughs> Very sensible. Sounds yeah. like a terrible ventriloquist act. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no dummy. <laughs> And the last one actually is waiting for you. The, again, the door's locked here. I won't make you roll to lock and open every every single locked door. It looks like there's magical wards on the door as well. Oh, that is weird. Do, do they do they look like the ones that might go bang if I poke them? Give me a law check. That wasn't very good. No idea. Actually, what did you roll? I should look. I got a six. No, that's that's not going to be good enough. I mean, eight, you'll be able to identify. <coughs> Yeah, I think I'd need expert help on identifying that. Only you knew someone? Yep. <laughs> right, I, I think I'm going to leave this one for now as I don't know what kind of trouble I might be getting into. So, um, that's anyway, that's all three. Right, well, I'm going to ask Liana to follow me quietly. And then leave the way I came in. I think I will make you make another stealth check to get out. Because it's okay. a different situation. You've got someone with you. And she's not especially stealthy. That's a nine. You're going to need a ten. I will spend the will for that then. I don't want to be noticed at this point. Yeah. So you are out, you know how many of them there are, you know, well, who you've got. I will take Liana back to the car with me, I'll get her on a quick rundown of the building layout to tell them there's two of them in there and which room they're in, and uh, well, what I saw upstairs and that we really need a, a proper wizard to have a look at those wards. Ah. Mm, in that case, we need to get in there, don't we? I've got an idea. Yeah? So, while one of you are... While one of you... Maybe while some of you are sneaking around, it might be worth one of us running distraction. I got lost on the on this moor. Can you help me? Can you give me directions? That would work if you're uh, happy to um, d sure. go with that. Sure, I'm happy. And if it gets a bit, maybe, I mean, then maybe we could, you know, you could come up from behind and take them out while I'm running distraction. If necessary. Um, maybe it's a case if we can just sneak up, uh, we can just get into the house and sneak upstairs. Maybe. Right. Uh, I suspect I can probably get past the wards. I was thinking we need to know where to have a look at them as well. What I'll do is, if Aaron wanted to uh, do the distraction, for his plan, I may linger back just in case things go south to either That's protect so Aaron or if we need to draw them outside of the house, at least I can, you know, do what I can uh, to keep them from finding you. Well, I could be uh, like, well, I'll turn to you and go, maybe you could pretend to be the uh, wolf that's supposed to be watching out here. They, they will pick that up. 
they'll know my scent is different. Oh, okay. I, I unless, you hug, uh, unless you want to hug the other werewolf very closely. <laughs> right. So no. let's get this plan into action. Yeah. So you're lurking out, just out of sight, so you can easily raise a plus if anything does happen. I will come back to you there. All is clear for the moment. Aaron's going in, I guess. Yeah, I'm yeah, going up to the front door. Yeah. I, I, I've yeah, taken, so... I've got the map in hand as well. Yeah, so a woman in jogger bottoms and very loose top opens it. Yeah. Oh, I'm mean, like, I'm really sorry to disturb you at this late hour, but. I'm completely fucking lost. Do you, do you know the way back to... Um, and I'll just reel off a, like, a local B&B or something. I'll probably Google oh, it. Oh, get out of the way there. Yeah, sure. Well, watch out. It's a bit dangerous. A bit, a bit spooky on the moors at night, but... Oh, tell me about it. I could barely see, like, two feet in front of me at tonight. It's... Just because... I mean, do you want to come in for a bit? You look absolutely exhausted. Um, <laughs> I could still, I could, on, st I could still run distraction. Yeah, sure. I'll say yes, yeah, sure. Yeah. You got a gun? What's the worst to be scared of? Exactly. Yeah. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> you got to find then, out. Then she calls back, <laughs> back to the living room. Mike, get your fat ass off the sofa and make this make this chap a cup of tea. Okay, distraction run. Who's going in the house? Uh, Henry is. Yes. I'm going back in because I, I know where everything is. Yeah. I'm hoping Noah's going to come with us. Okay, I was I was just planning on it. I mean, my final pack of scampy flavour fries, but you know. Well, I don't know how this magic stuff works. It works with scampy fries. That's what powers it. I mean, that's what you've learned. <laughs> yeah, I just make pretty pictures out of thin air. That's You just do it. <laughs> that's all you do. It yeah, just okay. happens. Yeah, it's a mixture of art and discipline. Yeah. Okay. Depending upon your approach. So you've got a distraction. That's giving you a bonus. You've got a couple of other people with you. So, Grain, it's going to be difficulty 12 this time. Oof. Okay. Um... Uh, I'm surprisingly, um, I don't have any stealth. Okay, but... so it'll just be a grain rolling for you two holding them down. Holding okay, them okay. down. okay, but. Well, that went all right. Wow. Okay, fine. I don't wow. need to do anything. Uh, no. Sixteen. So yeah, that's good. So what's the sixteen then? One, I'm going to tempt you. Do you want to spend one will to get a critical? Go on, go on, do it. <laughs> yeah, I'll do that. Okay. So actually, on the sort of a little sort of one on a, or a really small table just by the stairs. Someone's left their mobile phone. <clears throat> right, uh, might pick that up on the way past. Yeah. Yeah, the, I mean, the last guy you rescued would approve. <laughs> can't have it ringing, was it? things happen, can we? There might be something useful on it. Yep. I'll just uh, set it to silent as well. Okay. So, up the stairs, you come across the ward. Ah. Look at this. Um, uh, I'm going to have a look. I'm going to have an examination, uh, examination of this. 
uh, and see whether I can dis. Um, you got counter magic, have you? I've got counter magic. That, yeah, you think you could probably do it. Give but, me, yeah. Can I aid him? Yes. But, um, I look at it and go, mm, question. Uh, if I counter it, uh, it'll disperse it. Yes. Uh, now the question is, I can um, mm, possibly get us in there uh, without the need to disperse it. That would be harder, but of course you've got Noah's assistance. Uh, oh, yes. uh, but also, I have something else. Yes, you do. What's that? You think you're just cutting through it? Yeah. Uh, allow me. And basically, I pull out a knife, and um, I cut a shape in the door. Ah. Mm. Um, essentially, look, and it looks like a door. I've literally done like I've cut like a door, like a handle, and I will just basically open up and step through. That cost me I'll a point at, of will. I look at the others and say, but he kept that quiet. I didn't know he could do that. I suppose I should say as well, probably you recognise this, Noah. This is some ward against the Fae. Oh, that, the ward on the door? Yeah. But I'm not Fae, so I could just walk through it. Yeah. I'll say that. I'll say you do know that ward wouldn't have blocked you anyway. No, but the point is it, get, it gets a grain in there. It does. And and also, whomever put the ward there probably won't notice the cut. They might notice the other things that have vanished, and like the prisoners, though. <laughs> uh, they will, but the point is, it'll be a case of, how did that happen? Hmm. True. So, but look, it puts a bit of mystery and in, uh, into their lives, doesn't it? You're as green as you are. Cabbage looking, are you? Well, thank you. Used to say. <laughs> so there's a tall woman wearing a sort of clasp necklace round, round her neck. Uh, not in completely up-to-date clothing. Looks like it's been probably somewhere from the 1950s. And... She says, okay, good. Ah, oh, good evening. We believe you're being held against your will. I am. I sneaked in to rescue these other prisoners and uh, got trapped. Are you a fae, I'll say? Uh, no, I'm a, I'm a mortal, but I I know the fae very, very well. Too well, you might say. Now, that would explain the clothes, at least. Got lost there, did you? No, I, I stayed. I stayed there of my own will. Oh, well, that'd be the other reason. But it it went sour. It went very sour. So why are you rescuing the prisoners? Because it's the right thing to do. Right. Uh, you've managed to ex you've managed to extract the prisoners. Then I gather. No, or not. Be to... no, it went completely wrong. I made a yeah. bit of a. I should put it. I made a bit of a dickhead of myself. Okay. <laughs> and where are the prisoners? Where are they now? Do you know? I told you there's one in the other room. Ah. Uh, and and Liana, who is already out. Hmm. And there's that poor man being hunted. Uh, yes. Well. Um, We're on that one. Yeah. Well, he's a bit of a burk, as they would say. Yes. So don't feel bad. You possibly. Possibly forget about me if you're not careful. If I don't stay with you, so I'd better come with you for now. Right, Sue. So, well, can I ask a question? Will Sue forget because she's part failure herself? Uh, she'd have to try and discuss that. Maybe she will. Maybe she won't. You're right. It's possible she might be immune to that with the sight. Okay, well, let's evacuate the place then. Okay, so meanwhile, Scott. 
I'm outside with my rear leg scratching my ear, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, you hear wolves coming. They're not running, they're loping back. Okay. Um, I'm going to, obviously, I pick up on them. I'm going to try to make my way back to the rear of the house. Okay. Um, out of sight. You know, where, wherever, try to find the door that I believe that they went into the house from. And I want to see if it's open, and if it's closed, I just kind of want to wait there, keep myself hidden from the ones that are returning. Yep. And, of course, downstairs with our, our, our Aaron, mm -hmm. you're getting, well, not the Inquisition, you're getting a bit of small talk, so, yeah, the woman's saying, so tell me, dear, where are you from? Uh, I'm from, I'm from London, mate. Oh, I should have guessed from your accent. Yeah, innit? it? What brings you off at what? What brings you out on the moors that night, tourist? Um, oh, business trip. What Bradford or Leeds or? Uh, no, um, I work for the Met. You see. Right. And um. I bet you've, I bet you've, I bet you've seen some quite right strange things you need to investigate. Yeah, um, yeah, you definitely see some crazy stuff down in, uh, down, down in, uh, down in London. Um, yeah, some very strange things, go, very weird things. I'm up here, um, doing some training. Oh, uh, well, so you haven't seen anything of them. It wasn't, it wasn't a case up here you were looking at then. No, no, I'm up here on a, a, a training course. <coughs> Oh, cool. You and you by yourself? Um, no, I'm happy with colleagues. My colleagues aren't with me right now, but you know, I'm here with colleagues. Okay, and you see out of the sort of corner of the eye, the man sort of makes a sort of gesture like a claw from the sofa. And the woman basically mouths at him. It could be no, you stupid idiot. He's police. What, what did maybe, she say? Maybe you're just being jumpy. Uh, so yeah, I'm like, what? <clears throat> and I'll be like, yeah, so, yeah, so I'm here like, today was a sort of, you know, a day off, so I thought I'll have a look on, I've never been to the moors before, so I wanted to have a look, and I think I left myself a little bit late, left a bit, you know, got off the moors a bit too late, and I have been think I've been driving in circles for, uh, for the, for probably about an hour, I reckon. I took a wrong turn. Oh, in. Well, hopefully, you've, hopefully you've got some. You've not got a GPS. Ah, oh, I don't understand them things. I've got, they, they, they. Technology just, you know, throws me in a loop. You see. I prefer like paper. Do you, I prefer like real things, if you know what I mean, like maps. Yeah, I know More than survey it. maps. <laughs> <laughs> Says, well, don't mean don't mean to be rude, but you'd better probably better be on your way. You don't want to, you know, be so oh. late you can't get into the po into the B and B. True, true. Well, thank you for the tea. I haven't touched hey, it, but I haven't touched it by the way. And uh, I'll 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 make I'll make a leave. I make I make like a tree. Yep, and leave and go. Yeah. <laughs> So if I see Aaron leave, or if I can just notice him, uh, I'd like to, you know, as stealthy as I can, try to make some sort of, uh, you know, noise or something to notify him. You know, I'm, I'm over here. I'm still in wolf form. So. I think you've probably arranged a signal of some kind. Okay. You can do yeah. that happily. Yeah, I've given you the squeaky toy. You just squeak it. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be an awful shame when he finds you with your throat ripped out, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> One squeak for yes. Multiple <laughs> squeaks for come now. Well, what he doesn't know, I've been peeing in his bed back at the pad in wolf form for several weeks now. So. What he doesn't, what he doesn't understand is that uh, I've been swapping my like mattress and and uh, uh, duvets around. <laughs> All right. So yeah. So you, I, I, I hope you hear. You, you have my thing on behind the rear of the house where the rest of the crew went in. So. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, 
Well, I'm gonna. Oh, well, I'm gonna keep up the ads. Right. I'm gonna get in the Land Rover and like drive off, and, like sort of drive off, but then like just just turn the lights down to like uh, low low beam, and then just swing it around a bit, and like just, and then come back. If you can, because I've seen seen the wolves actually physically coming, so I don't know. If, oh. Will you be able to get back to the Land Rover before they see you? Okay. So, All right. All right. I'll just go yeah, around the back. I don't know. I'm just that's that. Well, question. they've got their lights on. They might not be able to see anything outside because you know when you've got the lights on yeah. inside the house, you can't generally. So yeah, I'll just leave. I'll look like I'll go to the car, and then once they've like their attention's turned back to the TV, I'll quickly run around the side of the building. What is it, boy? What is it? Has a has has a little uh, has a little Mikey fallen down the well again? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's a sad thing that you find when he gets. <laughs> yeah, so I, I I'll I'll make a few sharp short barks in the direction where I think the wolves are coming from. I'll, yeah, how many are coming? At three, you said. Yeah. Okay, so I'll be you know, rough, 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 and then kind of you know paw towards the front of the uh, front of the cottage. That's that's the signal knowing something's coming. Something's wrong. Okay. Uh, shit. I, I don't do that on command. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I have to have a that's think. Really crap training. <laughs> would any of you have your mobile on you that wouldn't be like on loud? You know, would you have it on mute or vibrate only? Yeah, we'd have it on mute. It's it's it's, it's yes. Okay, I don't I'm have a mobile. You can track you by those. Okay, well, I'm going to call someone normal. I'm, I'm going to phone Henry. Or we'll send a text. Oh, good luck with that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to text myself. Um, all right, I'll send. Yeah, I'll send a text message to like Henry saying, "Get out now." Okay. So, right. Oh, I believe it's time for us to leave. Oh. What about the other man? And he seems most. I mean, he's he's violent. He's agitated. He's nasty. Is there any way of coming him? Is there any way of coming him down? Not that not that I've seen. Right. Okay. Well, we but let's see what we can do. Okay. I love uh, a word of them. <laughs> Excellent. Would, would you like a scampy fry? <laughs> <laughs> I've only got one bag left. No, yes, but it might be all you need to persuade him. The, la well, we'll the precious him. last bag of scampy fries. Problem is, don't open it in the house because that smell will just give you away. They stink, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a giveaway, it's true. Okay, show us where he is then. Okay, so yeah, next room along. Actually, two rooms along. Okay, so we open the door. Is he agitated when we see him? He is bound. He's gagged. He's saying, "Is again? Is a case of he sees you. He says, let me out. I'm gonna bloody kill them.' Right. I want to squat down in front of him and go. Shh. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. You're gonna uh -huh. let me go. Right. We've come to set you free. But we need to leave quietly. If you start making a noise, we're going to abandon you here. Do you understand? Yeah. Give me some sort of very quick and easy persuasion check. Is there such a thing as a quick, uh, an empathy roll? Empathy roll, yeah, just difficulty yeah. eight. Okay. Yeah. 13. Yep, that's got the message across very easily, actually. It's critical. He is able to be quiet getting out. Say, good, good. Now we're going to set you free. Just follow us and we're going to get out of here alive, okay? Yep. Right, I'll untie him. Bounce we going. Yeah, well, with that Take quick, it. you don't need another check to get out without the wolves inside noticing you. Cool. However, you have wolves within. I mean, outside, of course, around the front. What does that mean? Well, nothing really, unless you... I mean, you could just skedaddle. 
that's what we're going to do. Yeah. Just get out, get away from that, that, that place. Yeah. So you get in, you get into the, you get into the Land Rover and you just drive off with all the prisoners. Yes. How many seats has this Land Rover got? <laughs> Yes, it's extendable, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a bit like a TARDIS. <coughs> in the boot. Yeah. Yes, I imagine it's not very comfortable. Yeah. But we can all get in it. So I'll, I'll make an illusion. Mm. Yeah. I guess I guess I'm on the luggage rack. Is, is that right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we even put a little rug there for you. So let's go Tartan. Let's go back to the standing stones because that's watered. Really? All well, right. you could just get the head out of here if you wanted. Or you could just, you could just leave the moor. Yeah, let's, let's get away. Go from where, though? The well, I would recommend um, the, uh, the the oak. The old oak, is it? I would recommend that. <laughs> but, 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 yeah, but, they're very pop you're very popular there, I recall. Mm? You're very popular there, I recall. Yep, we're famous. So, let's not go there. There's somewhere we can go where we aren't notorious for causing fights. Yes, you could just go to a, a another village or town. Mm. Go somewhere else in Headingley if you wanted to. Or head over to Wilkley itself. Okay, we'll do that then, yeah? Yeah. yeah let's find a Premier Inn or something where, yeah. where we're not going to attract attention. Well, where we'll, where we'll attract less attention. I'm sorry. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> you mean Hilton, surely? <laughs> yeah, so, so we'll you, get, you get to your Premier Inn, or in the case of one of you, a five-star hotel. <laughs> um, okay. All right, so we... We'll... I guess we have to book rooms, don't we? You've got, we? You can find rooms. It's, it's, yeah, it's not a problem. Um, how many rooms do we need? Uh, about ten. <laughs> excellent. Yeah. Uh, excuse, excuse me. Uh, do you have for ten free rooms? Yes, 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 I do. Excellent. I'll need to book ten free rooms then, please. Thank you. Yes, so you've got you four, and, well... Four former captives of the werewolves. So I think it's only eight actually. It's a tens yeah. exaggeration, but yeah. Okay. Well, eight then. But, uh... Then I think we need to have a chat with our former prisoners and try and figure out what's going on. Yes. Um, and I think uh, is there somewhere open where we can get something to eat? Pizza hut. Kebab shops. You uh, some of... Right. You're expecting silver service at this time of night? No, no, I'm merely, uh, I'm sure they thought there might be something over, I don't know. I'll look on Just oh, Eats and I'll service. order something, I'll, I'll see what's open on Just Eats and then just order you could something. Get, you're basically down to pizzas, burgers, kebabs. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, I think pizza will be all right. Stuff crossed. Yeah, all right. I'm just attending to it now. I'm basically just getting the mobile phone out and. Uh... Yeah, I think I think just with you four, it's going to be at least an hour before you agree on a pizza. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do they know? We necessarily need. No, uh, they be on the phone. No, that. no oh, uh, they... um, you put scampi flavored fries on a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great. Do you want anchovies? Do you want anchovies on your pizza again? Uh, is it no? <laughs> no, it's this place does have scampi on pizzas, fried scampi. I don't like scampi, I just like scampi flavour fries. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a mate who only strawberries, but he will eat strawberry flavoured things, it's weird. Yeah. Uh, so we, we know why the one, uh, who was the one that we saved from the Moors? His, his name was... Uh, uh, Dillard. Okay. Oh, so but, behind you. But we have, we have, we have Out. Liana. We have Liana, Derek, and Kara. We don't know why they were captured yet. Right. They... Okay. Why do I need okay, to so essentially we door? have a, a, uh, a delivery of um, pizzas and uh, sitting down and said, right, um, do tuck in 
Um, I believe there's Coca-Cola as well. Um, is it Coca-Cola or is it Pepsi? You know, it is indeed. Co- <laughs> um, <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, they don't screw up your delivery. It's generally, generally Coca-Cola. Okay, right. Um, do help yourselves. Um, we need to talk about your situation and how you ended up uh, prisoners of the werewolves. Yes, so uh, we know one of you. One of one of your uh, the story of one of you. Um, do you tell us about the? Uh, uh... So Liana was actually living on the streets in Leeds, and she was just snatched. Uh huh. Is that the young girl? Right. Uh, yeah, the young girl. She they were said basically, do you want to be a werewolf? And I'll be honest, I think that sounds pretty cool. I'll turn to Noah. Uh, I'll, yeah. I'll turn to Stephen and go, is it cool, Stephen, to be a werewolf? Yeah, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's a never-ending, unconscionable pain that you don't have to have, especially when they've been taken from you. But aside from that, it can be pretty cool. There are benefits. Great. But Brilliant. I, so. Great answer. Thanks. <laughs> Uh, well, well, I'll be like, we could, we could potentially like offer her a space at our like sh- weird place. If she... yeah, you she could, you could join, you could look after her as part of your crew if you wanted to. Oh, we could. Well, no, no, well, hold on one moment. Um, look, um, how old are you? Fifteen. Right. Mm. Yeah, that's <sighs> things a bit. It does indeed change a few things, doesn't it, Adam? Well, I'm going to say, interject and say, you're, you're far too young for, for this commitment. I mean, it's, it's, it's who's not Adam? Really sound cool. Sorry, uh, what were your? I thought your character's name, Ethan. first name, Aaron. 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 Sorry, Aaron. sorry, Aaron. Right. Yeah, I understand this, but she's probably run away for a reason. Um, and the least we can do is like offer her some form of stability st- stability stability well yes but his point is that um we're not actually a home for um with all due respect waves and strays that's literally what we are i'll, I'll look at everyone you know, i'll look at everyone around the t- like in the in the in the group and go are, are you sure about that yeah i'll, I'll be looking oh. a bit embarrassed I'm pretty much sure that we're not, if you see my meaning. <sighs> I'm going to be honest here, I don't see your meaning. Look, she has a, a family. Okay, look, she has a, she's a minor, she has a family. Obviously, she has um, difficult circumstances. Those are not circumstances <laughs> which we should be dealing with. Oh, you're right. And anyway, I was actually refer- I, I tend to prefer to refer to us as the weirds and strays. <laughs> I'm not weird. No, of course not. News are all weird, aren't they? I've got a reason to be paranoid. They're hunting me. They're not hunting you. Of course they are. Is this why you're having a bite of pizza, sort of sprinkled with scampi fries? <laughs> That's generally the idea. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not weird. <laughs> All right. I'm smoking a cigarette as I'm eating pizza, by the way. Yeah, of course. It adds right. to the taste. The, the, the other one, Derek, the one who was supposedly psychotic. I, I, I want to keep an eye on him. And yeah, just he's of... not going to do anything. I says, I mean, when are we getting our own back? Um... Against a punch of a, a, a pack of werewolves. A gang of werewolves. They don't like being called packs, do they? No, they don't. And... What, you reckon that could wind them up and make them do something stupid? <sighs> On the subject of doing stupid things, how do they catch you? Good point. Well, Lottie Man Dillard here always. I was holding up a security van. 
Oh, that was you. Yeah, Hunter Security. Pegged it. I ran into another bunch. This place is full of stupid people, isn't it? Yeah, stupid people and werewolves. It... So essentially what you're saying is we have dumb and dumber. Uh, uh... <laughs> and Tara's saying, don't forget me, I was stupid enough to get caught trying to get these people out. Oh, we haven't come to you yet. No, but I think <laughs> right. Right. And I wasn't necessarily calling you dumb. No. Well, I'm, just I'm just feeling a bit left out. <laughs> so how long have you been in, in the Fey Realms, I'll say? Since the 50s, I'm going to guess. Oh, no, no, no. It was 19th century. I'll, I went a bit more up to date. 19th century? Okay. Well, that's when I went in. Oh. I'm not 100% sure. But it's the usual story, you know. Girl goes into fairy realm. Girl become girl girl becomes lover of the fairy queen. Uh, girl has argument with fairy king. Girl leaves fairy realm in a different time. Hey, was old as time that one also. Yeah. Old when girl gets given amulet that will keep her hidden from everything. Excuse me. Who gave you the amulet? Oh, my lord, the king, the king of summer. Right. I mean, the thing is, I've been around for a while and I wouldn't mind going back to him. Would he accept you back? I don't know. I mean, I think what well, I think the problem is the amulet's made him forget me. You give me the amulet. I want to be forgotten. So I hear you, you again. again. There's also a case that I've got enemies. It's good for people to forget me. And certainly the thing uh. that does. What sort of Can enemies? I have a look at this amulet, I'll say? Okay, I'm not taking it off. Hmm, okay, can I have a look at it? Give yeah, you can. Give me law to try and work out. Give, give me a law check. Difficulty eight's enough, actually, to... Cause it's... Yep. Ooh, yeah, so... Is it worth me adding a one to that, making it critical? Yeah, if you want to. Yeah, I'll do that. One will, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, okay, make that a critical. Okay, so this amulet, how shall I put it? She'll pass unnoticed from basically anyone magical, not mundane, but anyone magical, and including the Fae, unless she intrudes on their attention. And even if she does intrude on their attention, it's going to take minutes for them to forget she forget to forget her basically once she's gone. She's also the only one who can take off this amulet. So hmm. she's been locked in a room with a ward on it? Yeah. Who put the ward on the door? She does not know. Because it takes someone skilled in wards so yeah. to be able to do that kind of thing. I could do it. Well, Either the werewolves have a ward magician, or it was already there. There's no way of knowing either, really, at this point. Not really, no. Possibly, <laughs> I could do. I could do. I, I could uh, possibly. There might be something in the. Uh, um, I mean, you could it, look at the age of it, maybe, and try. And yes, look. there's possibly some 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 information about the house somewhere I could find if it exists. Yeah, that's also true. Right. So. Um. The young lady. We need to sort sort out where she's going to. Uh, um, the older lady, we need to. Uh, well, you want you want to go back to the Fey? Yes, back to Avalon. If you go back to Avalon, you'll probably need to give up that amulet. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we could mind it for you. I think I want a persuasion check of some sort again. She's okay. Um, scared to give it up somehow. Ah, oh, that's a uh, um, rhetoric. Rhetoric is good. Okay. Make a good argument for that. 
Hello, cat. Sorry, she's uh, right. <laughs> quite interested in what I'm doing. Oh, 11. Excellent. Yeah. She does <clears throat> unclasp it. Sadly, the grain, you can see the magic of the amulets fading to nothing. Oh, that's weird. But it's a very nice piece of jewellery. Ah, okay. Um, it, it seems to have deactivated. Now then, um, okay, can you find your way back to Avalon? I can. So thank you for, well, getting me out of that stupid situation and for giving me the courage to do what I need to do. I think nothing of it. Pleased to help. She actually goes to her room. She's not setting off in the middle of the night. Yeah, yeah. Before she goes, okay. though, can you put the necklace back on? I can. She... I'm okay. watching to see if anything changes. Yeah, does it... No, do you... it's, still, it's dead. Okay. Oh. One last question. How did you know that that house was full of werewolves and prisoners? I've been spying on werewolves and vampires and all sorts of things like that, trying to do some something, something good, trying to help. Uh, have you been sending anonymous notes to the police for anything? Yes. Uh, uh. That one up. Excellent. Well, um, that's what got us here. So, some circularity. Excellent. Okay, and there I think is probably as good a place as any to end it. Really? All right. Oh, well, do you want to carry on for another hour? Well, is it is it over with? It's basic. It's basically over. Yes. I mean, D Derek and uh, uh, Dillard, they pretty much just need to boost a car and get out of the werewolf territory because yeah, they'll pursue them. So that's that's what I was going to suggest. And yeah, as far as uh, uh, is it Le is it Liana who was the, yes. the the I mean, it's it, that would be up to you, James. You're the one who has the. Uh, the, the, the well, legal well, okay. Well, with her, I'd ask her what she wants to do. Like, I'll try and find out about her family situation. Okay, so her family situation is really not good. I'm not right. going to go into details there. Okay. Fair enough. And she's 16 or 15? 15. 15. When she's... Which is sticky. So legally, she'd have to be placed into fostering or, you know, her care... Yeah, and they're and they're 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 fucking great, aren't they? Those those situations. It varies, honestly. Okay. Um, right, but it's not a particularly but, happy position to be in orf an orphanage. Um, no, but the point is that um, effectively she has to become essentially a ward of the state before anything else can happen. Yeah, I mean, it would be illegal to shelter her. Yeah. I mean, the other thing is, from a responsibility point of view, oh, yes, I want to be a werewolf. She is way too young to make that decision. Yes. Okay, well, I'll... I'll, I'll... You could technically apply to foster her. Yeah, I'm not really in a... I don't know if my situation would be good enough for her to, like, be fostered. By her, by yeah, I don't know if it. I don't know if Aaron's in a particularly good frame of mind to foster her. That's also that's also fair enough, which is probably a reason you shouldn't do it. Someone else might be. But yeah, yes. I, I, I guess I guess the happy ending would be yeah, we'll we'll hand her over to the authorities, and I'll check in with her like every month or something. That seems really civilized. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Maybe every week or every other week, and I'll take Noah with me and and lots of like uh, uh, scampy flavored fries that she suddenly gets a taste for. Yeah, just that small amount of contact she's got that hasn't she now? Is that she's me? an addict? Once, once, and of course, yeah. and of course, within a few visits, she's changed. Visit, she's changed her mind and wants to be a wizard. <laughs> Much Don't. cooler than being a werewolf. <laughs> But yeah, that's the you best. Can control me temper. Mm. That's the. Yeah, uh, I mean, that's... 
Sorry, Scott. Oh no, no, I was just, I was just agreeing. But yeah, that's the best situation then. And then if she gets fostered, hopefully she get. I mean, she's, she's near. I mean, she's t three years away from being eighteen, so it might, it'd be better than living on the streets. Yes. Uh, a lot safer as well. And yeah, I'll send her like, oh, you know, every time I see her, I'll give her some pocket money or whatever, you know, whatever. Scampy fries. Scampy fries. Well, that's your gift. And and lukewarm tea. Uh, She's got a massive her. box full of them. Never eat, never eat them. <laughs> I'll meet her out in the moors with a frisbee. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give her the squeaky yeah. toy. <clears throat> <laughs> and that's and it. I'll yeah, and I'll provide whatever she needs to continue her studies at school. Yes. Because oh. that's fucking fun. You're 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 the killjoy. Oh, we're like the fun, the fun aunts and uncles, and you're just the uh, like the dad. <laughs> oh, someone has to be. So is, is we've got yeah. So we've got parents, family, dog, eccentric aunt, <laughs> an eccentric aunt. <laughs> this this usually leads to a superhero origin or a villain origin, depending on how south it goes. So I think that's we'll where I think happens. that's where we're going. <laughs> so Liana. All right, so if that's if that's that, then uh, should we do some shout-outs? Yeah. All that's right. A wrap. All right, Pookie. Where can we find Hi, you? Pookie. Okay, uh, you can find me uh, primarily on Reviews from Relay Eight, where I post at the moment four reviews a week, uh, and I'm also on Twitter, and I have my own YouTube channel where I read uh, books. Um, allowed and uh, um, open up boxes of games. You've only done one though, haven't you? You need to send me that information. I've only done then. one of those, but because I'll add it to the, yeah. I'll add it to the shout out malarkey. All right, yeah. cool. So, uh, yeah, you can find me on Twitter under the name Savage Spiel. Uh, despite what people seem to think about once a month, I'm not actually German. And yeah, I can also be found on Blogspot, also a Savage Spiel, where I write a blog mostly about roleplay gaming. Thank you. Bud? Uh, Bud's RPG review on YouTube. Uh, my next review will be on the 14th of July, which is Lemonel. Ooh. <laughs> I'm halfway through it. Yeah. Okay. I'm just I'm just up to Werewolf Gangs. Uh, and there is a review of Liminal on my blog as well. Look, you've missed a turn. <laughs> I think he mentioned his blog to be fair, Jimmy. <clears throat> Scott. Yep, I'm Scott, and I don't really have much to add. I'm, I'm uh, Hail Orcus Dorcus on Twitter, where you'll find a ridiculous amount of uh, uh, memes that only I seem to enjoy and laugh at. And uh, I will pop in and out on uh, you know James's um, uh, Twitch. And uh, we do have a game coming up soon at the end of the month. We'll be starting uh, hopefully a Simba Room campaign. So look, look forward to that. Paul. Okay, so I'm Paul Michener. I am the Tweedmeister on Twitter. I'm Dr. Mitch sometimes in other circles. I've got a blog, The Imaginarium of Dr. Mitch. Oh, you need to give I've me that. Written a few, I've written a few RPGs, including Liminal, which is out there. I guess the best place to go is the Modifius site. And also, from the 7th of July, so three days' time... Pax Londinium will be available to buy in hardback. It's already available in PDF. Wish I could afford it. I'll have to. I'll have to wait until uh, something improves. <laughs> yeah, but come on, this game must have made you mega bucks. Just oh. this. yeah, <laughs> <laughs> fucking loads. I, I, I've got a big like building being built that I'm going to put all the coins in and dive in. Soon, soon you'll be able to afford a packet of scampy tries of your very own. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, 
I would like to submit though uh, my suggestion change to the uh, the windmill character sheet. So besides keeping track of your experience and advancement, I'd like to add a few ticks for scamp prize. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Scampy flies surges are gonna uh, stocks are gonna surge now, aren't they? <laughs> well, for one day, for one day, and then people will try them, and that'll be the end of it. They're lovely, though. No, they're brilliant. They're lovely. Yeah. Scampy flavor flies. I didn't I say it properly. Though. In all in all seriousness, this mm-hmm. Christmas, you know the thing where you've got the sheets of them in the shop with twenty four of them on. We got one and hung it up with the Christmas decorations. <laughs> Is it like an advent calendar of? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, what flavour have we got today? Scampy. <laughs> I was trying to find a picture for you. No, don't make, make. Even though it was a joke, make no mistake, they are lovely. They're good. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I, I will. They, they may carry them at the, uh, at the cost plus market where they, they have a lot of things like that. And if not, I, I, I want to try them. I'm going to order. Maybe order something online. Yeah, but they'd be about they fifty well. million pounds, or, and they'd probably all be broken as well, which is highly disappointing. Oh, they'd be powered. Yeah, they're, 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 yeah. they're quite nice. I don't think they're worth five bucks a packet. Oh, okay. Well, but, that case, never mind. Okay, uh, it would be though. I would love to see you make a video of you eating your first scampi fry. That that'll be my first official YouTube video. Yes, a, uh, it'll be a scampi. Are you I'll stream it. Um, seafood. Oh, I'd love seafood. I, I, oh, well, I, you probably like them then. Yeah, do you like, like salt and vinegar? Raw, raw oysters, like everything. Yeah. No, I think, I think we should do this. Scott tries. No, Orcus Dorcus tries. Exotic <laughs> foods. Exotic <laughs> foods. Scampy chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Exotic foods. Scampy flavour fries. Uh, as for me, don't forget to join my Discord if you haven't done already. You'll find us all on my Discord. Um, Twitter is being... Yeah, I'm getting better at Twitter, which is an amazing uh, am- amazement to myself. Facebook is still... I'm not really using it that much, but, you know, it's an alternative if you don't use Twitter. And YouTube is where you'll find all the VODs. Um, tomorrow we've got session one of Mutant New Zero. And looking forward to that. We've got... Uh, I've got a custom map that is being produced by... Ga- no, Jill Pierce. Pierce, Jill Pierce. Uh, she contacted me today uh, about it as well. That was um, good. Uh, she's 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 having a think on how she can like do the different layers. Um, but I think she said it's doable. Um, and yeah, if you wanna if you wanna contribute to helping pay for it, because I've already, you know I uh, I have paid for it. Uh, I've had a lot of contributions to it already, but yeah, I've had, um, I've also put money into it myself. Um, just hit that donation button if you want to, uh, every little helps. Um, and if you've enjoyed this at all, don't forget to hit the subscribe button on Twitch. If you, if you use Amazon prime, you can get free sub to the channel, um, which really helps. And if you're watching on the sh- on YouTube, don't forget to like and subscribe on YouTube. Um, but other than that, I'd like to thank Paul for running this, even though it was a slightly Bye disjointed. Liminal. It's good. Uh, do buy Eliminal. It's it's a very pretty book as well. Um, it even comes with a uh, little thingy in the thing, the little bookmark. There we go. That's oh, look, look, we're all we all. So you're back to, <laughs> so you're back to front. <laughs> Yeah, so is mine. Hang on, I've got this. No, no, you're the right way round from for the camp. No, you're back oh, to front. It's not for me, it's not. Okay. Um, mine's downstairs, I apologize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah mine's upstairs, yeah. I'm yeah, sorry. Well, you, see your, you see a mirror image of your own, but not of other people's. But, weird. but we're so going to... See how much of werewolf gangs, see? Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Good boy, good, good. And when will you begin this review out? <laughs> My mm. werewolf. <laughs> I like this. Po- everyone pose with their books. <laughs> well, everyone but the two letdowns. Um, oh, I'm sorry, you know, we don't talk about need... them. Um, I didn't realise we needed to have a copy here. Of course you do. We were playing it. Um, I've actually started to think about <laughs> my own one shot. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I've been thinking about my, my own one shot of Liminal. Um, whether I can do it, who knows? It will probably be two sessions. 
Um, it's but, really rules light. You wouldn't have a problem. But yeah, it's easy, isn't it? I'd yeah. like to, as I said, I'd like to thank Paul for running it and having to deal with the fucking technical issues two weeks in a row, pretty much. Except it wasn't as bad this week. Um, it was fine this week. It was a tiny, tiny bit. Um, and I'd like to thank everyone for hanging out. But other than that, thank you all for watching. And we will speak to you next week. Next Saturday is, I think we're doing a Hellas game uh, with Paul, uh, not Paul, Jerry D. Grayson as the uh, G Games Master. And that should be entertaining. Um, Is he the guy who wrote it? Yeah, he's the guy that wrote it. <sighs> Thank you all. And we will see you hopefully tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.